Oh, five, 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 and it's take one. Get ready to match the stars. Bobby Van. Brett Summer. Charles Nelson Riley. Sarah Kennedy. Richard Dawson. And Betty White. As we play the star studded big money match game 75. And now here's the star of match game 75, Gene Rivers. Are they all riled up, John? Are they ready? You're going to have a good time tonight because uh, all of these beautiful, yeah. gracious, uh, talented gay today, people. Today. Yeah, today. We don't today know what they're going to do tonight. Well, today. I beg your pardon. It's uh, 3 o'clock in some places and 2 o'clock in others. I have five minutes after eight. No. <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> Are you all ready? Yeah. Your watch is always five minutes after eight. Are you all gay and yeah. full of vim, vigor, and well, vitality? Well, I'm not gay, gay I'll, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I want to see each and every one of you applaud as we welcome Missy Gallant and Margaret Kirkpatrick. Uh, Charles! <laughs> Thank you. Now, this lady's the current champ. She's won one game and has $350 to her credit. That's uh, okay. not a large amount, but the day is young. See, I didn't say the night is young. <laughs> but the night is young, my dear. <laughs> and she's being challenged by Margaret, who did extremely well with her first round question. Five is most Five. unusual for a first yeah. rounder, isn't it? So, you've got your work cut out for you, but you're going to have two shots at least. And we'll see how this game turns out right after we see about this. We are ready to carry on. Middle of round one. Missy, this is your first round question. Listen carefully. The mad scientist crossed a rhinoceros with a chicken. What a neat trick. <laughs> he got a two-ton chicken that blanks wherever it wants to. <laughs> Once more. All right, Charles. Captain, are you ready? Now hear this. Now hear this. The mad scientist crossed a rhinoceros with a chicken. He got a two-ton chicken that blanks wherever it wants to. Two-ton. Two-ton chicken. That's a lot of chicken. <laughs> All right. He's got it. Somebody's having hysterics out there. I think she's oh, laying she's an egg. Seizure. She's cackling enough. I don't. Charles. Oh, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Would the lady uh, continue her whatever she's doing until I... Where is she? One word. Oh, there. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, I know. Is that your husband with you? No one wants to take the responsibility. Okay, let's go. Now, are you ready? Okay. The mad scientist crossed a rhinoceros with a chicken. He got a two-ton chicken that blanks wherever it wants to. Clucks. What? Clucks. Clucks. <laughs> They're awing you. I don't know what that means, but we'll, maybe we'll find out now, Bobby. Out. Yeah. I thought for sure she was going to say lays eggs wherever she lays was. eggs. Did you think of that, Missy? And you rejected it. Yes. Why? I don't well, know. Clucks oh. was such a great answer. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right. What'd you say, Brett? I think clucks is a terrific answer. It clucks wherever it wants to. Yes. Because right. it rhymes with cackles. Oh, there's a man. <laughs> right. Sorry, God. Okay. Cackles and clucks. Charles? I still say that answer like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Than one All right, Missy, you got one so far. Let's see if you score Come with the in. lower panel down here. Sarah, you're up. Well, I said lays eggs. Lays eggs. Yeah. Wherever it wants to. Wherever. Yes. And Richard, what did you say? Yes, Richard. About a two-ton chicken. 
Pardon? A this two-ton chicken. Yeah. Powerful. It blinks wherever it wants to. Oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> How'd it turn out? Well, it went into the barnyard and demolished the barn. I didn't know which was correct English, so I said lays or lies. <laughs> You would have had a lot of... Uh... That's right. It would have been very good. Betty, what did you say? Having studied animals as much as I have, that may seem like a strange combination. It is strange, but the courtship is delightful. Yeah. I said Lays. Lays, okay. <laughs> so at this moment, the score is five to one. We go to round two, and you have a choice here, Margaret, of A or B. B, please. B, and only one person plays. And that person... Huckleberry Dillinger. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Captain Charles, are you ready? I'm ready, sir. This is for you and you alone. Have you met Miss Brett, my pretty intended? Oh, Hello, how are you, so honey? I'm pleased to meet y'all. Delighted it's to such meet a you. Yeah, I've been with Captain Andy yes. for now 25 years. Yes, you come up north and very he's often. never laid a hand on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where he's going to be. Okay, Jimmy said to Judy, uh, don't look at the card because oh. it's going to distract you. Just look at my eyes. Look at my face. Watch my lips move as yeah, I'm speaking. Right. He said... Jimmy to Jenny. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Jimmy to Judy. How do I love thee? Oh, sweet. Did you get my last letter? <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Now, Judy, wait a minute. I, you I'm like it up here. You don't see acting. how much better it is up here? I'm acting, and you're upstaging okay. me. And you know that's a cardinal sin. Browning. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways... I love thee like Howard Cosell doth love his blank. Now that's an easy Have I broken your heart? How do I love thee? Let me go the way that. I love thee like Howard Cosell doth love his blank. It's up to you. Hooray for the red, white, and blue. Don't distract him. <laughs> How do I love thee? Hmm. Why are you looking at Richard? Nothing. Are you ready, Charles? All right. Let me count the ways. Margaret? One. Jimmy said to Judy, How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee like Howard Cosell doth love his blank. He's a disc jockey, isn't he? Howard Cosell? <laughs> no. <clears throat> you know how Howard Cosell is? Yes. He's I the do. guy in the football, you know. The... He's the guy that has the voice that I'd recognize anywhere. Right. <laughs> And he occasionally delivers an opinion If you urge him a little <laughs> What do you... Loves his sports Oh Good luck, Margaret She did very well in the first round, didn't she? Charles, she says, loves his sports What do you say? Annie Brett, did you see that man come visit me just a little while ago? <laughs> I said his big mouth Right Twenty minutes Okay, morning. so in Can the middle of round two, minutes. five to one the score, and it's going to stay that way for a moment or so while we do a little business with America. Here we go. Now, Missy, you have to match four to stay in the game, five to win, okay? Johnny, would you come over here, please? Oh, this is Johnny. I want to tell you, not only is Johnny Olson one of the world's greatest yeah. announcers... Yeah. Yes, sir. This fella is just terrific. I've done shows with him and shows without him, and I gotta tell you, it's better with him because he's just marvelous. He's not only one of the world's greatest announcers, but he has been for over 2,000 years. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Johnny, Johnny hosted the world's first game show. That's right. That's, That's the truth. Absolutely yeah. right. And the show... Open. Where's the rest of it, fellas? <laughs> you give me a two-part question. Would you give me two parts of the question? You Where? Have, you must have it. Oh, you've got it. <laughs> oh, you've got it. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah, you've got the question. But you've got to get all ready right, for right. this, all right? You ready for this? Right. Line up to there? The show open like this. Live from Cairo, it's our favorite sweetheart, Cleopatra, starring in ancient Egypt's funniest game show, You Bet Your Blank. Oh my. All right, that's the question. Fill in the blank. 
I may have to ask you to repeat it one more time, so hang around here, John, would you please? All right, everybody ready? Charles, you finished. That was wonderful, Johnny. All right. He's wonderful. Now, would you, you do wonderful. it? Would you do it for Missy Gallant one more time, John? Stand up here with the light. I want everybody to see you there. Just hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, you're not finished. Well, it was misspelled. Oh, all right. Live from Cairo, it's our favorite sweetheart, Cleopatra, starring in ancient Egypt's funniest game show, You Bet Your Blank. And a boy, John, thank you very much. Now. Ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt, Cleopatra, you bet your blank. It's easy for you. It's easy for me. Mommy? You bet your mummy. Well, that's ancient Egypt, isn't it? Okay. Now, don't boo her. You'll make her feel insecure. No, that's not a bad answer. You bet your mummy is not bad. What have you got, Bobby? You bet your asp is better. You bet your asp. You don't watch this show very often, do you? Brett, what'd you say? You gotta match everybody else to stay in the game. You have to match everybody else to stay everybody in the game? Everybody to stay in the game. Everybody. I feel terrible. What? Brett doesn't play. Oh, Brett, Brett doesn't play? play? I want to stay in anyway! Curtain up! All right, Charles, you're your ass. <laughs> What do you say, Charles? Guard! <laughs> <laughs> I said ass. Yeah. So, what the rest of you have? Stand by for a moment or so. Well, Missy, you're going to leave us now, but you did win some money, and we had a lot of laughs. I hope you enjoyed it. I do. Good. Goodbye, Missy Richard. Gillard will be leaving with $350. Now, you come up here with me, Margaret, and you've got your $100. Now, you're going to try for over $5,000. Shall we begin? Sure. We polled a recent <laughs> studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank joint. <laughs> now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it, $250 for the middle, and $100 for the bottom one. Whom do you call on for an assist here? <clears throat> Betty, please. Clip joint. Clip joint is oh, one. Betty. Charles. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Good Morning America. <laughs> As the. Oh, uh, blank joint. Blank joint. Oh. <laughs> this is all blank! <laughs> uh, Do not get bone joint. Bone? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. it's better than Twinkle Berry of last week. <laughs> okay, so that's two. You got a, uh, one more to go. Richard, please. Present. <laughs> ah, what was the question? The question is blank, blank joint. joint. Well, first of all, of course, I would say bone joint, that being so popular. Has anyone said that? Yes, yes. I saw they might. That's been taken. Okay. Uh, then I would say clip joint. Has anybody said that? Yes, that's, that's been taken, too. I hope they buzz me out very soon. Uh, knee joint. Knee joint. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Oh, well, I thought. So you got knee good. joint, clip joint, and blow joint. Keep the audience down, please. And bone joint. <laughs> you got bone joint, knee joint, and clip joint. You want one of those? Being married to a what? policeman. I yep. have heard of clip joints, so that's what I'll go that's with. It. Right. Very good choice. I tell you, frankly, I never heard of the other two. You're really missing a big one with bone joint. <laughs> no. I'd say that. Sincerely. Bone joint would never make bone it. Bone joint we can get. I am curious to see what I can't think of anything other than clip joint either. Quiet! I'm sorry. We all can't talk at the same time. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, we can. Yes. Pow! <laughs> all right. We are looking for clip joint. Let's find out if it's under the $100 response. Knee, Knee joint. I'm not surprised. Right. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the $250 response. Clip joint, congratulations. You got it. Good job. What is it? Oh, you got a good luck charm there. I'm going to some chicken. 
for dinner. You had a piece of chicken for dinner? And I saw this sticking out the side, and I thought, my gosh, I have a wishbone. I hope I have the, the good half. And I did, you, and you so did I've carried it with me. So. Well, all right. You're going to be playing for $2,500, but I'm curious to see what's under the $500 response. Elbow. Elbow. Very good. That's now, the same thing as bone joint. No, it isn't. Yes, because when they finish the beer, they go their bone dry. I see. Good see. Okay. Keep Good. it down in the studio. Nice try, <laughs> Charles. 2,500 is what you'll be playing for now. But to collect, you got to match one of them head to head. Exactly which one will it be? Betty. Okay, Betty, you get ready to write. Let's try. And Margaret will face me, if you would, please. And here we go for $2,500. Blank. Shorts. She's got it. Now, we want to know if you've got it. And are you in the same wavelength with, with uh, Betty White there? What do you say to that? Blank shorts. Boxer. <gasps> Boxer? Okay, Betty, may we see your answer, please? She says that'll match you. Darling, I'm so sorry. I said jockey shorts. Jockey! <laughs> jockey shorts. It's been well, so long well, since I've, you know, I get those all mixed yeah. up. <laughs> Is that the first thing you thought of? No, well, there's two types. There are two of, types, yeah. Of those. Jockey <laughs> and boxer. Yeah. Did you think of jockey and reject no, it? No, I, I, boxer came into my mind and I thought I should go with my first... What does your husband wear? It's always my very... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he wears uh, the jockeys, but I don't like them. I prefer the boxers. So. <laughs> well... Morgan has cost you $2,500. Yes, right. <laughs> You could have bought a lot of jockey shorts for $2,500, I'll tell you that. Listen, Margaret, you got three fifty. dollars You're going to meet another player in a moment, but right now we're going to meet this commercial. Now, let's welcome Don. Great. Nice to meet you, Don. Glad to meet you. We're going to find out a little bit about you tomorrow, if that's all right with you, or all in the next show. Fine. But right now, let's start the game right now. Should we do that, Don? Would you make a selection, please? Let's go with B. B. Anything you say, Don, is okay with us. Everybody plays. Edna's cooking is so horrible. How horrible is it? Don't interrupt. <laughs> that at the end of dinner, instead of giving you dessert, Edna hands you a blank. That's how horrible her cooking is. At the end of dinner, instead of giving you dessert, Edna hands you a blank. Put something on the card, because that's the way the game is played. Charles has not figured that out yet. I see. All right. Okay. Oh, that's cute, sweetheart. All right. Just lay it in there. And Thank you, Auntie Brat. <laughs> Miss Betty, honey, you're always so quick. You always that's go good. Go. Okay. Smart. Now, John. Very tailored today. Edna's cooking Lovely. is so horrible. That at the end of dinner, instead of giving you dessert, Edna hands you a stomach pump. <laughs> Your creative powers are to be admired. But good luck with the answer. What do you say there? I said Alka Seltzer. Alka Seltzer. Correct. Good answer. What are you doing? I'm writing down stomach pump because it's such a terrific answer. Oh, I can't use it. No, you can't, can't I? do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice I try, feel though. terrible. I said an airline's paper bag. An airline's paper bag. <laughs> Charles. Ta -da. Ta -da, da da da. John combed his hair, got all dressed up, looks very nice, has his suit and a lovely tie. Someone give him the correct answer. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I thought you were going to bomb out completely with it. Sarah, what do you say? Alka Seltzer seems to be the one, Richard. Alka Seltzer oh. two. Alka Seltzer two. That's two glasses of Alka Seltzer. What do you have? I didn't say stomach pump, so let's just forget it, okay? Okay. Here's dog, Come on. Doggy bag. Doggy, doggy bag. bag. Doggy bag. One for you. And your first what round question is yet to come, but right now, friends, this is coming your way. No, stop. That's the way it is. 
We've got to stop right here now, but we shall look forward to seeing your beautiful bodies again sometime in the near future. All right? Not yours, his. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> And your beautiful bodies. Thank you. Would you all bring them back sometime? My beautiful body will be on Tattletales next week. That's right. Oh, I love it when you're strict. <laughs> Buddy, you're going to be on Tattletales. Oh, don't leave yes, me. All me. next week, right? Oh, say goodbye. Or no, tell I'm not going to say coming? goodbye. Who's, uh, who's on? Uh, next time we get together, some of you will be here and some of you will not. Oh. These are the ones who will return. Bill Daly. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley, Dr. Joyce Brothers, Richard Dawson, and Patty Dork. Team Leonard from Match Game 75. Join us next time. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 75. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tottman production. Thank <laughs> you.